Okay, guys, I've got uh, another Blender script going here. This is uh, a bookshelf script, well, it's nominally a bookshelf script, although it turned into something a little bit more. So it started off as just a simple bookshelf script. You can change the parameters and stuff, and it's all uh, parametrically generated with a modifier stack, so you can move this stuff around, and it does all the things that you'd want. Um, but that was kind of boring. Uh, so then I added a randomize button so that you can randomize this stuff and make it a little bit more different, more different spacing, and then added a tilt button so the ends randomize differently, and it's just it's just scaling the randomization, so that's fun. And you can change the random seed, and it jumps all around. So that's cool, but it's not as cool as I wanted. So then I added the complex bookshelf, which is the same idea except it's a recursive subdivision thing. Um, so basically it has the horizontal shelves like before, only instead of doing them by spacing, it's doing them recursively from the top and bottom in. So it it adds a shelf at the top and adds a shelf at the bottom, and then in the inner space it recurses and, and does something else there. And if you just have the horizontal shelves turned on, then it just does horizontal shelves. But of course you could recurse with the pinwheels, and the pinwheels uh, look like this. Let's get just one. There we go. There's a pinwheel. And uh, you can get them this way, or you can get them this way. It doesn't, you know, it's it'll do them either way, right-handed or left-handed. And then it just recurses in those sections. And so right now we've just got pinwheels turned on, so it's just going to be pinwheels on pinwheels. And, and you can just add pinwheels, and it'll be pinwheels forever. But you can also turn on both, and then uh, then you'll have both. And that's kind of fun. You can turn on horizontal fallback. Horizontal fallback basically means if it randomly chooses to use a pinwheel and there's n and there's no room for a pinwheel, then it'll try horizontal shelves instead. So you can see there's a bunch of horizontal ones there. Turn off horizontal fallback, and then you've just got these gaps here where it tried to use a pinwheel, but it didn't work. Um, and then, of course, you can you know make this, what was it, 120 by 210... And uh, generates generates pretty quickly, pretty quickly for all those vertices. This is what uh, three quarter, two thirds of a million vertices, and that was what maybe half a second. Let's just one, yeah, it's about one second, about one second for for all those vertices. Which you know, that's not too bad. I mean, you could probably go a lot faster if it wasn't all running in Python, but it's pretty respectable. Uh, so anyway, that's basically the whole thing. You can you can make bookshelves. This bookshelf is way too big, and, and you can see that the um, it changes the modifier stack so that it doesn't do the the bevel if it's got too many, and then if it's got even more than that, it won't even do the, the solidify. So if we knock this back down to something reasonable like 20 by 15, maybe. Uh, oh, it's still. Hmm. That's pretty pretty snappy, maybe. Yeah, that's did it permanently. No, no, there it is. I guess it was just. Oh, I see. But if it turns it back on, then it's gonna get. There we go. Now we've got the bevel back. Uh, so you can see if it's if there's too many vertices, it it disables that. And you can you can go in there and poke with the poke with the settings if you want to change all that. Or you can just add them yourself after you're done generating it. But I, I didn't want it lagging so much. On those really big ones, it takes like 12, 14 seconds or so just to do the bevel and the, the solidify, just because there's so much geometry. But anyway, this is available on my Patreon. If you want the script, uh, go and sign up on my Patreon. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy this. And if you want the code and you want to just like t type it back in, here it is. I'm just going to scroll through the whole thing, and then you can have access to it if you want. It's based on the, the add-on the add object add-on, and then here's the, the basic one, just so you can see how it all works. This one's mostly, <laughs> it's mostly UI. There's like this much UI, and then what? Like this is the code right here, and then everything else is, is header. So it's like mostly just stuff, but the code in here is, is a little bit more involved, um, mostly because of all the right-hand, left-hand stuff that that was involved with this. I probably should have made two versions for right hand and left hand. Anyway, okay, bye.